Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this program that is offered by Yashwant Maharadhyalaya Nandit, which is under Value Added Program, titled Soft Skills. Let us get ourselves acquainted with the basics of this course. The title of the course is the Certificate Course in Soft Skills. The eligibility for the admission into the course is anybody who has done 10 plus 2 with at least 45% of the aggregate marks in arts, science and commerce and should be a student of Yashwant Mahavidyalaya Nandit. The passing marks are the candidate must obtain 35% of the total marks in the theory and practical separately to pass this course. And uh, it is the UGC circular uh, file number 14-4-2006 CPP2 uh, which is helping the colleges to introduce such new programs to the students. The period of doing this course is for six months and the level is it's a certificate course and normally the pattern that is followed is for one semester which would be spread loosely over the academic year completely. The status of this course is that it is a new course that is offered from this academic year onwards 2020 and 21 and this is to be implemented for the academic year 2021. The objectives of this course are to inculcate the soft skills in relation with the entrepreneurship development. Number one. Number two, to give students knowledge about various soft skills like the communication skills, personality development, to make themselves sustainable after and while graduation. To teach the techniques of participating in group discussions, and facing personal interviews with confidence and success is the third objective of this course. The fourth objective is to teach the students about time management, stress management as effective tools for success in life. The fifth objective of the course is to inculcate positive thinking among the youth and to empower them with interpersonal skills, leadership skills for enabling them to, the, to be the future leaders of the world. The syllabus of this course is designed as following. The title of the course is Soft Skills. It has 10 units with it and each unit will deal with each topic. The very first is the introduction to soft skills. The second is communication skills followed by personality development. This has the next part of the syllabus as time management, stress management, positive thinking, group discussions, personal interview and along with interpersonal skills and leadership skills. The, it also has got the practicals, the practicals that are designed into two ways. Practical number one deals with the first four communication skills, personality development, time management and stress management. And practical number two is covering group discussions, personal interview, interpersonal skills, and leadership skills. The modality of assessment, if you observe, it will have theory paper and a practical along with the project. The theory paper will be of 100 marks with four credits distributed in theory paper of 50 marks along with two credits and the practical based upon the theory paper of 50 marks which contributes two credits. In general, the entire paper covers four credits. The assessment will comprise of continuous assessment and end semester examination ESE. The theory paper will have continuous assessment for 25 marks and ESE for 25 marks. And the practical paper will have a continuous assessment of 25 marks and ESE of 25 marks. The duration of ESE shall be two hours duration for theory course and four hours duration for the practical exam. And the practical exam covers everybody who are supposed to present practically before the external as well as the internal examiner. The theory question paper pattern consists of there should be five questions and each question will, have, will be five marks with options. There will be one question on each unit with internal choice. All questions shall be compulsory with internal choice within the questions. 
The conduct of continuous assessment is in the form of objective type questions through learning management system. The theory question paper pattern should be, there should be five questions and each question will have five marks with options. There will be one question on each uh, unit and all questions shall be compulsory with internal choice within the questions. The conduct of continuous assessment in the form of objective type through LMS also is maintained. The practical examination will be held on the decided practical date and the term and practical examination would have a practical which consists of 30 marks, a project that you have to write and submit for 10 marks and the viva was by the external and internal examiner for 10 marks. The suggested topics for individual project could be as following. You could think of any one for developing into a project. The project report on communication skills and personality development could be one. The second could be time management and stress management. The third topic could be group discussion and personal interview. The fourth could be the project report on case studies on positive thinking and personality development. And the fifth could be the project report on interpersonal skills and leadership skills. You can select any one topic in the beginning itself and go ahead with writing the project. The project book is to be presented to the external as well as internal examiners during the practical examination along with answering whatever is being asked in the practical examination you'll have to submit the project book and face the viva was based upon the practical as well as the project book that you have submitted thank you very much for having a patient listening to the introduction to this course of soft skills